Hello, welcome back to AC3D CAD. In this tutorial, we will be doing a simple 3D exercise using AutoCAD 2018 and will also point out the benefits of using dynamic UCS. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon and comment below after watching this tutorial video. Let's begin by turning on the drawing settings at the status bar, the dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and the dynamic UCS, which is not displayed here. You can do that by clicking this customization and select dynamic UCS. I'm gonna start working from top view. So click custom view, select top, grab circle from the ribbon and enter 25 units for radius right click to repeat circle locate center and enter 15 and the distance from this point to the center or from this center to this point is um, 45 plus 12 which is 57 so I'm gonna type L for line command and from the center bring down your crosshair for 57 and the thickness from this point to this point is um, 20 so I'm gonna type L for line command right click I'm just gonna hover over enter 10 and bring back your cursor for 20 units and move it upward and click that intersection repeat line and click that intersection now I'm gonna trim so TR for trim command right click twice and click that I'm gonna join the segments click that click this one and that one now I'm gonna change the view to southwest isometric I'm gonna create a circle again and click that endpoint now I'm going to extrude these objects for 40 units change this to x-ray as you can see the height here from this point to this point is 40 which is shown here and the next half is also 40 the next step is to draw this triangular section I'm gonna draw a line from the center for from this center to this point is 45 units but this time I'm gonna use a 3d pulley line from the midpoint bring your cursor up for 40 units connect it to the endpoint type C to close the segments draw a circle again from this uh, center and click that endpoint select the circle and extrude it for 40 units I'm gonna extrude this line for five units towards that direction and press pull for five units draw a circle from the center for 15 units extrude this one all the way down use uh, subtract 
command from the solid editing panel from the ribbon and select the object you want to keep or the objects right click and click the object you want to remove Now it's time to draw this portion here, this cylinder. I'm going to grab circle from the ribbon and um, make sure this one is highlighted. You can do that by hovering over this face. And since our dynamic UCS is on, we don't have to change the plane, the XY plane. Or the z direction towards this direction so once it's highlighted this face is now our xy plane so click the midpoint and click that endpoint click that one and extrude it on the other side now i'm gonna press pull this portion for 10 units so which is 40 minus 20 is um 20 so 10 units uh, on both sides press pull command click that and uh, shift and click this as one and enter 10 units turn to the other side extrude that for another 10 units Now create a hole, just hover over this face once it's highlighted, which is now our XY plane, enter 12.5. Click that and extrude for 40 units. Select subtract command from the ribbon, click this object and that object that you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to remove. Next is to draw this portion. I'm going to use um, 3D pulley line from the ribbon. And from this point to that point is, which is from the center to this point is 37. Bring it down for 40. And then to the to that direction for 37 type C to close extrude this one the total is uh, of the extrusion is 10 plus 10 which is the thickness of this plus 6 is 26 so I'm going to extrude that for 13 which is half of the total so 13 and then press pull this side for 13 draw a circle and extrude this one for 10 units which is this one here towards that direction and circle again extrude it for another 10 units towards the center I'm just going to change this to shaded with edges I'm just going to press pull this one and then union the objects and 
I'm going to cut this area here. I'm going to change this to X-ray. Grab this rectangle command from the ribbon and click that corner and just hover over that corner and bring it up to the center wait follow that green green dash line and click it up to here just gonna turn off the grid now it's easier to see okay highlight that and extrude all the way down And go back to the ribbon and select subtract command select this object right click and select the object you want to remove I'm gonna change this to shaded with edges I'm gonna put a hole through this circle and enter a radius of 10 press pull command from the ribbon left click and bring your cursor out and left click again I think we are done let me check there's a hole here hole on that side I'm just gonna move this one I'm just gonna select this unwanted objects I think we're done thank you for watching see you again bye